The most central and commonly discussed mystery in the Song of Ice and Fire is the true identity of Jon Snow's parents. Many people have settled on the famous R plus L equals J theory and gone about doing outrageous things to prove or disprove R plus L equals J, things like reading the actual books, doing research, or analyzing thematic parallels. All these people have neglected the crux of what R plus L equals J actually is at its core, a math problem. By using some simple arithmetic, we can solve the most complex addition problem humanity has ever faced. Let's start by trying some algebra. So we'll subtract Leanna from both sides of the equation and we get Rhaegar equals John minus Leanna. Multiply both sides by a B and we have BR, Blood Raven. Blood Raven is the three-eyed crow. So we got that, we can divide the B back out of both sides. And then we know that Leanna Stark is actually Quaith according to some theories. So we'll go ahead and add that Q back to both sides and we got the three-eyed crow divided by Brandon plus Quaith equals John. Now we'll multiply both sides times R plus B. Now Jockin times Rory and Vider is basically still just Jockin, so we can get rid of that. Um, but then we got this over here, so let's simplify three-eyed crow back to Blood Raven, divide out the B, and we got the R. R plus Q times R plus B. That is, in fact, a quadratic equation. So what we're going to do is obvious, we're going to go about using the quadratic formula, foil it out there, and then try to find what John is actually equal to. Now when we simplify this, we got a lot of B and Q's, we can try to do a little bit, but hmm, that's not really getting us much. So we're going to have to put this on hold and come back to it in a little bit. We know the answer is an imaginary, so we're on the right track, but other than that we can't figure out much yet. So let's, now that we're in two-dimensional space, let's look at a double line integral. So we'll just take the r plus l and um, integrate it twice. So there's r and then there is l. So it, there's a few c's showing up. There's Cersei Lannister and there's Catelyn. And then we've got l times r, both squared over 2. So I've got a three-dimensional graphing calculator pulled up here. we got Rhaegar on one axis, Lana on the other. We know that John is a point in RL space. We just have to narrow it down. So if we start by graphing R plus L equals J, we get that the solution lies somewhere on this plane. Now if we go ahead and add that double integral we just took, we get this complex looking function. Now you'll notice a few areas where they intersect, but the primary one is along this line. So we know that John lies somewhere along the central line here, but we're going to need more data to narrow it down exactly. So to get some more answers, we're going to have to turn to another system of math, matrix algebra. Now if we throw every possible parent of Jon Snow into a matrix together, and then simply just take the determinant, we should be able to find some answers to who Jon Snow's parents actually are. So this is the determinant here. We've got Ned, Leanna, and Rhaegar, but we've also got six new names showing up. We have John Aaron. We have Melissa Krakal, we have Bale the Bard, we have Melwis Rivers, not me to read you weirdos, we have Bardemos Keltigar, and we also have Jeremy Riker. Okay, so we're back on the graph, and if we take all the characters we just found into consideration, the end result looks something like this. Now if you'll observe, this does in fact intersect with that line we were observing. So John is right there in the middle of Rhaegar Lyanna space. Now going back to the beginning when we found the quadratic, we can just ensure that our answers are correct by verifying that that intersects with that point as well. So let's pull up that quadratic and yes indeed it intersects with that line. So that point in the center there is John. So if someone asks you who Jon Snow's parents are, hopefully now you know better, you can just show them this graph and quite easily explain how John isn't really the child of Rhaegar and Lyanna, it's a little more complicated. He's a point within Rhaegar Lyanna space, roughly about right there, and that's who Jon Snow's parents actually are. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching to the end. If you can and you're able, please subscribe. It really helps out a lot given the size of my channel. I've got under 450 subscribers, and it really provides a significant boost. Other than that, I really hope you do take care, and I cannot wait to see you next time. Goodbye.